Hi there, this is Mr. Boyd. Today, we are going to talk about how to get lower ping in games on Windows 10. If you like to play computer games, you may have a keen interest in keeping your ping as low as possible and reducing in-game lags. There are several ways to improve your latency on Windows 10, and today, I will show you how to do it. Okay, let's begin! The first thing you want to do is check your internet and Wi-Fi connection. A quick and easy way to check your internet connection is to use a free online tool. Open your browser and go to speedtest.net. Click Go and watch your download and upload speed. If the results are lower than expected, stay with me as I am going to show you some tricks. The next thing you can do is improve your ping by changing some registry settings. But first, make sure you make a backup of your registry in case something goes bad. Press the Windows key, plus R, and type Reget It. Click OK. Navigate to File, and click Export. Choose the name for your backup, and click Save. Now, navigate to Computer, backslash, H key, underscore, local, underscore, machine, backslash, system, backslash, current control set, backslash services, backslash TCPIP, backslash parameters, backslash interfaces, and open the subfolder containing the most files. Its exact name varies depending on the system. Right-click and select New, then select D word value 32-bit. Name the new value TCP ACK frequency and change the value from 0 to 1. Now go to computer forward slash H key underscore local underscore machine forward slash software forward slash Microsoft forward slash Windows and T forward slash current version forward slash multimedia forward slash system profile. In the right panel, double click network throttling index. Enter FFFFFFFF as value data and click on OK to save changes. Restart your PC. Next, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager. We will now check for apps that have the highest network demand and eventually terminate them. Click the Network column and inspect the processes that take the highest bandwidth. Select the process and click End Task. Next thing we are going to use is a free tool called TCP Optimizer. Just in case something bad happens, create a restore point for a peace of mind. Now go to www.speedguide.net forward slash downloads.php and click TCP Optimizer 4 to download the app. Once the download is finished, locate the file, right click it, and select Run as Administrator. In the TCP Optimizer window, we are going to apply the best settings for gaming. Navigate to the General Settings tab. There, down below, choose Custom. At connection speed, set it to 100 plus Mbps. Take a look at the network adapter selection and make sure the network adapter that you use to connect to the internet is chosen. Tick the option Modify All Network Adapters, change MTU to 1500, untick PPPoE, change the following settings to TCP Window Auto Tuning Normal, Windows Scaling Heuristics Disabled. Congestion Control Provider CTCP Receive Side Scaling RSS Enabled R Segment Coalescing RSC Enabled Time to Live TTL 64 ECN Capability Disabled Check Sum Offloading Disabled TCP Chimney Offload Disabled Large Send Offload LSO Disabled TCP 1323 Timestamps disabled. Once you've changed the settings, click on Apply Settings. A window will pop up asking you to reboot your PC for the settings to apply. Click No as you are going to do that after we finish applying more settings. Now go to Advanced Settings. Under Internet Explorer Optimization, change Max Connections per 1 underscore 0 server 10. Max Connections per server 10. Under Host Resolution Priority, change Local Priority, 4 Host Priority, 5 DNS Priority, 6 NetBT Priority, 7 Under Retransmissions, change Max SYN Retransmissions, 2 
Non-Sec RTT Resiliency Disabled Under Retransmit Timeout RTO Change Initial RTO 2000 Min RTO 300 Under Type Quality of Service Change QoS Non-Best Effort Unit 0 QoS Do Not Use NLA Optimal 1 Under Gaming Tweak Network Throttling Index Change Network Throttling Index Disabled FFFF FFFF System Responsiveness Gaming 0 Under Gaming Tweak Disable Nagel's Algorithm Change TCPACK Frequency Disabled 1 TCP No Delay Enabled 1 TCP DEL ACK Ticks Disabled 0 Under Network Memory Allocation Change Large System Cache Default 0 Size Default 1 Under Dynamic Port Allocation Change Max User Port 65534 TCP Timed Wait Delay 30 Click Apply Changes and choose Yes to restart your PC. Next thing to do to lower your ping is manually optimizing your network adapter. We will disable all the power saving features of your adapter so it doesn't go into power saving mode in the middle of the game. Go to Start Menu, search for Network Connections, and click View Network Connections. Right click on your network adapter and click on Properties. After that, click on the Configure button and click on the Advanced tab. If you have these settings, change them. Energy Efficient Ethernet – Disabled Green Ethernet – Disabled Power Saving Mode – Disabled Since I use a Wi-Fi adapter, I don't have these. Make sure to disable any other power saving feature depending on your adapter's model. Once you've changed the above settings, navigate to the top right corner and select the Power Management tab. Untick the option, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power, and click OK. Next thing to do to lower your ping is to change to alternate DNS. Since you are already in network connections, right-click on the desired adapter and select Properties. Double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select the Use the following DNS server addresses option. You can either choose Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. Me personally, I'm using Cloudflare since it's faster. If you use Google, type 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. If you use Cloudflare, type 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. Next thing you can do to lower your ping is to flush the DNS. Go to Start menu and search for Command Prompt. Right-click and select Run as Administrator. Type the following commands in the same order. ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. ipconfig forward slash register DNS. ipconfig forward slash release. ipconfig forward slash renew. NetSH WinSock reset. Restart your PC and check again your latency. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.